Greetings Church, it's uh, Kevin Duclaron and uh, today is uh, Wednesday the 7th of uh, October 2020. I am coming just out of um, FedEx office. It was it used to be FedEx Kinko's but now it's FedEx office and um, I'm royally disappointed. I was charging my phone and also I was going to do some work but um, can't do any work on the, on the computer, uh, print some information and that sort of thing. Um, I was just online a few minutes ago trying to uh, replace my driver's license that I had lost on Monday. On Monday I had uh, uploaded some videos. Um, I had read First John, which the Lord had asked me to do, uh, chapters 1 to 5. And in doing so, I also did an update, um, thinking that I was doing the right thing. <laughs> but then Melinda hit me with the, uh, the community or the church or whoever it was, says that I needed to come down um, and do that for the community or else it's a snake. So I said, okay, they didn't like what they heard when I read First John. They didn't agree with First John. And so I went over to 122nd. Uh, Mr. Peep, and you know what goes on there, Peeping Toms. Uh, this is the um, the city hall right here. Anyway, still boarded. Um, I went um, to there, and unfortunately, um, I had to make contact and lost my wallet in the process. I'm not sure if it was um, the bathroom. Um, booth number 16 17 or booth number five six i don't know where it was I, somehow or another it fell on the, you know how like when you bend down to look through the hole to see if anybody's there i had a big wallet it had my bible in it and um i don't know um if it popped out of the back of my pants and then fell and then i walked out and i didn't see it uh, i'm not sure or if i left it in the bathroom but in any case long story short um, when I discovered that it was gone, I panicked, and um, the, the 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 customer people, you know, the people, being, the uh, cashiers, um, said that nobody turned in the wallet, and um, and therefore I was not. Um, I walked out of there without a wallet, disappointed. I gave them my address, phone number, all my information. Um, email to contact me and uh, pretty much nobody turned in the wallet. I called yesterday um, and nobody turned in the wallet. So I ended up having to call all around here to, um, I even filed a police report to see if anybody had turned in the wallet. There was some money in it, my driver's license, my um, EBT card, my hop card for, um, my hop card for uh, t catching the bus and um, pretty much everything else that you know a, a wallet contains and um anyway um i went out to washington state yesterday to renew uh to, to, to renew my driver's license and uh my biggest mistake was that i um i forgot to change they, they have a new system where they issue you a driver's license um without City Hall, <laughs> without having without having your picture on it, which I think is really strange. Um, they changed my um, driver's license number. It used to be D U C um, L A uh, K E two nine six O A. I think it was, um, and it had my photograph in it. Well, when I went over there yesterday um, after getting lost. <laughs> Uh, getting it to the wrong DMV, the one that I normally go to was on a different bus route and apparently that bus route stopped running um, and the bus drivers had me running all over the place, um, sort of like 35 minutes uh, behind schedule of where I was supposed to be. Um, anyway, when I, when I finally got there, it had to be by appointment um, and I didn't think I was going to get in, but when I did get in, I paid 20 bucks, and then this is what they handed me as a temporary license. So I took a new picture. There's no photograph on here, but if you look at the bottom, the bottom there is, uh, that's the, uh, there's a ministry out in um, Vancouver, 
when I first uh, went there to renew my license a couple years ago, they allowed me to use their address. Um, and I had it forwarded to the PO box here. Um, and for whatever purpose or reason, um, they when they changed the format, they also changed the mailing address. And so it's going to that um, it's going to the address. Um, however, last time I was at that address, I got hit several times and uh, insulted by both the homeless and the staff. Um, and I told them that I'm an itinerant preacher and I need to use it um, until this thing with MacArthur is over. Um, and they, I mean, I overlooked the fact that it needed to be changed, right? It should have gone to the P.O. box. And now I've been calling um, Olympia, Washington um, all day long uh, to see whether or not um, I can change it. They told me to go online. I went online. Um, and now they're saying they're not even receiving their calls because they're backed up. So I'm really disappointed. Uh, I'm going to have to go back over there. Yes, uh, tomorrow. Um, I've already paid the 20 bucks and I'm going to have to, the money that I was going to use to uh, buy the new tent, I used 20 bucks of it uh, ye yesterday to pay for it and now I'm going to have to pay another 20 bucks uh, because they won't do it automatically. The woman spoke to me and she said, no, uh, you're going to have to manually do it online or go back in again and, uh, um, and pay another $20 um, and then change the address, the mailing address um, over there. So... You know, I apologize for misusing the money. Um, it was supposed to go to the tent, um, and now I'm down to 60 bucks. And then uh, after tomorrow, it's going to be down to 40. So, you know, losing the wallet. And I sort of feel like it's God's judgment because of the fact that I sinned and I shouldn't have sinned. But, you know, this county is a sinful county where as soon as you pray to Jesus, read the Bible of Jesus, it suck my cock. And if you don't suck my cock, then we're going to snake you and cut you and pierce you. And um, yesterday I, I slept in Kenton. Um, I pitched my tent in Kenton, Oregon, and which is not too far away from here. Um, and I also, I fell asleep. Some woman ap approached me, gave me a blanket and, uh, and a $5 bill. I took it, but the Lord was like, no, the, the, the blanket is satanic. Uh, they've done some rit uh, rituals and stuff on it. It's, uh, it's not something that I should accept, nor the money. Um, so I had to literally um, go to the police department, give them back the blanket, and give them back the $5 bill. And, um, of course, I was hit several times last night, uh, 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 like five times I was molested. Um, you know, the same group that's been doing it all these years is the same group. And the officer that I spoke to this morning, I believe his name is Jet. So I gave him a full report of what's been going on. I ended up having to wait for an hour um, from like 8.30 to 9.30. But um, after that, I, I basically just so like it's sort of like they're waiting for me to submit to slavery. Um, MacArthur, Franklin, the Queen the government, the gay community, the KKK, um, the homosexual community, everybody, you know, they're all waiting for me to come to my senses. As you can see, um, Black Lives Matter is still across the street over there um, and they're not moving and I'm stuck, they're stuck. And it's like, unless you submit to the Klan or you submit to slavery, submit to homosexuality, submit to this Haitian woman, giving you sex without your consent, you're not going to be free. So America is still not a free country. I had to, in my report to Jet this morning, I had to remind him that, you know, um, the Declaration of Independence is false because it says that it's false and this government literally is false. I, I feel like I'm, I'm sandwiched in between two governments, you know, the government in the back from the clan, you know, from the clan, the clan from the British um, you know, the British in the back pretending to be the gay clan and the American government that tells you uh, the 13th Amendment that you're free um, and, the, and not only the 13th Amendment, but also the, um, the emancipation. Um, and I'm like, this has got to be the worst time of my life. You know, I'm, I'm looking at Martin Luther King's, it says, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Martin Luther King, 1963. And can I be honest with you? There is no justice in Washington. There's no justice in Oregon. There's nothing but Satan. Um, and my prayer for you Christians out there is stay on your P's or Q's or the devil's going to get you.